future to the right and now. Oh yeah. Good morning. Sorry, I'm in a sing song mood. Nothing's in a sing song mood. Can't wait to get in the car. What did you just have on stick season? Stick season. I had Daisy Jones and the Six honeycomb on. Nothing much Daisy Jones and the Six, which I knew he would love it. So I've been asking for ages. Unreal. And but I, I think you thought it was just some like. I thought it was a real girly, band. Girly like. Oh, did you? Yeah, I thought it was a real band, and it was like a documentary of their life. Because I'm not one for documentaries, really. But that incredible cried my eyes out. Good, wasn't it? I, I literally, I haven't sobbed like that at a TV show or a film for a long time. Really good. So if you haven't watched it, it's on Prime if you want to go and watch it. Go Incredible. Watch it. But yeah, we're heading to Primark, so I'm very excited because we've not been for months and months See, and months. the prospect of Primark I'm really excited for. Yeah. However, actually being in there, I can't say I'm going to be that excited. I think it's going to be quiet though and it's going to be like easy breezy. Truly it better be. Would you? <laughs> we'll just have a little look round. I feel like the lighting's better in here to show my outfit because in there it was a bit sunny, but we've just got all grey. I feel like I'm trying to be like cooler than I actually am, to be honest. And then my hair is just in two little grips because I've got a bobble with me. It gets sweaty in Primark and you just need your hair out of the way. Um, we'll do you want to? Oh, we're going out for food tonight for my granddad's birthday. I literally can't wait. When are we going out to celebrate me? Because nothing got a promotion. What? Do you want to give them the update while I put my shoes on? I don't know what the update is. Well, what's happened to you recently? Kind of a big thing. Sorry, everyone. I've just been for a haircut. It's Dinny's excuse too. Why didn't you change your jumpy? Because it's nice, this one. Right, quick update, right? So, I had this eye when all, like, bloodshot covered in red and, like, blurry vision. Blurry vision's still kind of there, but it's not gone. But, right? So, I just thought I was tired. So I was like, oh, it's gonna go. So it was about a week and I went and go and get a, I went and asked for an eye test at the opticians and they were like, don't bother waiting for an eye test. You need to go straight to James Cook Hospital and um, get it get it seen too. So I was like, oh, okay. I rang 111 as well at the same time and I was like, cause I don't want to go to the hospital if I'm not needed to go to the hospital, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so I rang and they were like, yeah, get yourself straight down to the hospital. We need to see you, blah, blah, blah. Went down to the first hospital and they were like, uh, what have you come here for? We've got an eye specialist hospital, like, further away. Like, you need to go there. So I was like, oh, bro, thanks so much. I'll go there. At this point, I wasn't allowed to drive because the 111 woman said, um, under no circumstances do you get in your car at all. She was quite rude, to be honest, but I'm not going to go there. <laughs> um, so I went there, went to this other hospital, and then they were like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I can't see you because it's not open, blah, blah, so I had to go in the morning. Yeah, but what happened on the way? The full day was a shambles, why? Oh, on the way there, Kayla's car broke down, because Kayla had to take me, so that broke down on the side of the road. And then, obviously, I had to get another car, so Charles came and picked me up. She dropped Emily off here, I was getting ready for work. Yeah, and then Charles took me, and then we got there, and it was closed, the eye casualty place. <laughs> so then we had to go back in the morning, which Danielle's mum took me, and then it turns out I have Irit iritis, ir ir iris something. Um, it's to do with your iris. It's like an inflamed colour part of your eye around your iris, or something in your eye is inflamed, and it could cause permanent blindness. So how scary is that, though? Like... It's a good job on that day. I actually went for to ask for an eye test. Otherwise, yeah. I would have left it. Because I said a lot of people would leave things like that. Like I don't I know did. whether I would have left it. I did leave Obviously it. Obviously, the memory just got full on the camera, oh, but... and I just had my hair cut. Yeah, nothing just got back from my hair cut. But yeah, I was scared all day, I'm not gonna lie, like... Were you? I don't deal well with anything medical, like... I just think the worst, like... Remember that it makes time me... kidney infection? Yeah. You thought I was dead? I thought you were a goner, it was really scary. But it is scary you with things like that. that I was crying my eyes out. Yeah. I was scared for, for your life, honestly. I was going to say scared for my life then. I was scared for my life though as well because your mum came up to the bedroom and she was like, you've got meningitis, <laughs> you're going to die. I was like, oh It's scary anything health-wise though, isn't it? Like it really is. Um, so good job nothing got checked. So, and mom, you should always get checked with anything. Yeah, no matter what, don't be silly. Because you feel bad sometimes. You feel like, oh, it'll be nothing. Well, that's what I say. I don't like to bother people. So I hate doing that because I'm always the type of person that's like, Oh, it'll go on its own, but my red eye became like, it was becoming a bit of a bother. Yeah. And it started hurting. Yeah. And I was like, I should really stop being silly and go and get checked out. Exactly. Um, I'm on steroid eye drops for six weeks. Six weeks, and then it's looking better already, like the redness so is moving gone. gone. Yeah. So, but it's just my vision. Yeah. Isn't like this eye. Yeah. It's 
better, I would say, but it's still not 100%. But they said if the vision doesn't come back within a week, I need to go back. Yeah. So. so yeah, that's the update. Always get checked with anything if you feel like you're concerned or anything. Yeah. Also, this mess on the table is really distracting me, so I'll just pretend that is not there because that's going to have to be sorted when I get home. And when we get home, sorry. And we need to go pre mark because we've literally got like a few hours to go to pre mark do the food shop, come home, get ready, wrap my granddad's presents, uh -huh. and then, yeah, go and celebrate his birthday. Hi. We've got vlogging fear. <laughs> but we're, we've ended up in the kids section as always. And I found a very cute hoodie for Everly. £4.50. I actually can't believe it. I feel like she needs the little purple joggers to go with it. And that'll be a very cute outfit for her. Ended up in the kids section. We, we always do this outside. every time. This is, a, this is adorable. And these little sets, like. Look at these little peplum fucking... These, if we had a little cat, they would be coming home. That is us. 80s groove style. So cute. Imagine Everly in them though. It's so cute. Nathan's obviously ended up in the cargo section, but this got a bit of Van Gogh going on, and the top over here, we've picked one up each. Haven't we, babe? Yeah. Loving it proper vlog for you today, though. Just come in the home section, and I'm feeling like it's going to be the one. Look at that. Two pound. Look at that, that sweet cheeks. Oh, wow. Sweet cheeks, apricot and vanilla. That's cute. Mm. That smells <laughs> pretty good. That smells pretty good, actually. Hello. How much? Seven pound. Wow, bad. Not bad at all. Or you can wait until the, the end of the month. <laughs> That's a hint, hint. Dreamy, dreamy, dreamy. Obsessed. They're like the little monkeys. Look at the eat and the eggs. Oh my god. Are they tea like holes? Look at that. Oh. Oh. £4. Oh. This in the bedroom. 50 pence. 50 pence. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. So cute. I like that bars. Oh, I love that. Don't drop it. I won't. Love this bedding. Also love this plant pot. Nathan thinks this little granny cushion's cute, don't you, Bev? <laughs> I mean, they've definitely got all the... Love that. That's cute. They've got all the new stuff in. Look. So cute. Oh, look at the little book one. Oh, I'm getting care of that. That's cute. That's adorable. That's coming with us. No, I don't need that. I actually need that, Donna. Oh. We're back home now. We've got the total vlog for you in Primark. Like, some days it's fine, but I feel like because we haven't vlogged in public for a while, not like proper public like it was busy in Primark and people just look at you and sometimes it doesn't bother me at all and then other times I just can't like hack the stare and so we had the vlog for you but I feel like we filmed a little bit just not much I don't feel like we filmed much in the women's section but to be fair there wasn't actually that much but we did get one two three bags worth of stuff. Nathan is upstairs wrapping my granddad's birthday presents because we need to leave in like half an hour and we're not even ready yet. I need to find an outfit to wear for the meal. So I'm gonna like race through this haul to be honest. I didn't actually get that much for myself. I did find these little cute workout shorts, which I thought were a really nice color. They're just like an off-white, kind of cream, but more off-white. These were eight pound. Um, super soft fabric it says but I just thought I'd give them a try like maybe for yoga like maybe some little walks in spring um, probably a bit cold for centre parks but I thought they would look nice with this brown v-neck long sleeve like is this seamless it looks seamless this was five pound but I just thought them together would be a nice little pair there's gonna be no order to this I'm just gonna literally pick it out the bags so we got Everly a couple of stuff. Um, I got a retreat, Nathan got a retreat. And then I was sending Charles some pictures because I knew that she'd love all of the stuff. This was in the sale for five pound. Look at that. 
how cute for Centre Parks. It's got the little like tree theme on it. But it's got rainbows and flowers and it's a very cute little knit. Me and Nathan are going to be dangerous when we have kids in the kids clothing sections in any shop because we spend more time there than we do anywhere else. We love the home section but the kids clothes were just like oh does something to us. Then look at this little denim retro flower button up dress. I'm sorry that is just it's just adorable. She's gonna look like the most stylish little two-year-old I've ever seen. <laughs> this is what Nathan got for her. This Pokemon Jigglypuff and Pikachu jumper. I think it's meant to be like a boxy crop kind of thing because this is three to four and it doesn't look that big to be fair. I got her this little set. So we've got the little purple joggers and these are like 350. 350? That's where the danger comes in because it's so cheap. Little lilac joggers and then to go with this hoodie with the gorgeous little pastel flowers all over it. I'm sorry. So cute. And then mm, I'm gonna cry. I'm actually gonna cry. Look at these little retro flower hippie flared bottoms. I actually can't with these. Like cutest thing I've ever, ever seen. I think that's everything we got for Everly. This is a birthday present for Kayla. Look at that. It's one of the book vases, but it's like a fake one with little fake tulips in the top. I thought that would look really cute on her bookshelf. So cute. And that was £8. I love the pattern on it as well. I got myself a pink cup because I seen this ages ago in Primark and I picked it up, got to the till and I put it back. So I was like, oh, I don't need another cup. But I feel like I really just want to fill it up with water or like lemon and lime water for when I'm working upstairs. And yeah, I just love the baby pink colour. So I got the cup. It was 3 50 Got a couple of pairs of knickers. I got these ones, um, three pack seam free to use as period pants sorry if that's too much information but these things happen in life and then i got these ones they're like super soft pack of three i got this dress because it felt so soft um it's just a basic like strappy long midi dress but nathan was like is that skims dupe i was like could very well be babe could well be so that was seven pound but i need to try that on then i got three no i got four sorry of these plastic crates because i use these for the business they're good anyway to keep like tea lights in and things like that but they're just i'm sure you've seen them before but they just unfold into little cubes and then they stack on each other as well oh the stack on top of each other which is fabulous for what i need them for and they were one pound fifty each i had to get this so I seen this on TikTok, it's the strawberry mug, but I didn't think it looked very big on TikTok, but in person, it's a massive mug, £3.50. It's such a decent size, so I don't know if anybody will actually get me that for my birthday. If anybody's in Primark and sees this, they will think of me and more than likely get it, so I better keep the receipt just in case. You've probably seen when we were in Primark, but I did pick up these little tea light holder candle jars because they were 50 pence each i thought that was an absolute bargain this plain top i just like the color it was five pounds really soft and it's got like longer sleeves just thought it was a really nice brown top to wear with leggings or joggers um i'm trying not to say for center parks but yeah then i got two of the brow sketch is that what it's called brow sketch pencils in dark brown these are one of my favorite eyebrow pencils to use and then that is it for that bag and nathan got this really nice half zip sweatshirt this was nine pound really nice material really soft i mean i would get these as well from the men's section because i think they're really nice but yeah love that the same color as my little workout shorts to be fair and that would be nice together maybe i can borrow it off him i'm sure he wouldn't mind he also got the same one in gray loves a half set he got these cargoes because cargoes are nathan's favorite bottoms to wear aside from a jogger and i love cargoes on him i think he looks so good in them so yeah they just have the little black like tie and zip and button detailing and they're a really nice creamy color then I think we showed on the vlog, but he did pick up the Vincent Van Gogh 
hoodie it has the little badge detail there then it has another little detail on the pocket which says sunflowers 1888 which is one of his most famous paintings and that is what is on the back of the jumper i painted this in primary school and it got put up on the wall i think everyone's got put up on the wall to be honest but i'm gonna tell myself that mine got put on the wall because it was really good when really it probably wasn't he got me for my birthday the black t-shirt because i thought it would be cute uniform for work to paint my orders in love that and I, to be fair i'll probably wear that out because i think it would look cool um and then he also got me this bag i keep saying that i need a new bag i need a new bag and he was like as we were leaving this morning he was like do you want me to get you one for your birthday i was like that would be incredible thank you so much babe so i picked this one it was only 10 pound i'm an easy going girl do you know what i mean it's got this little pattern on the front it's long which i like i love a crossbody um yeah two zips little zip on the front perfect we got suitcases for holiday how nice are these i'm honestly obsessed so these are the it is that what they're called it suitcases i got the pink one it's a hard shell one can we give them my little suitcase um show off it's got this lock thing on it we need to google this because i don't understand how this works like i don't get it at all and then and then nathan got the white one i said this will not stay white for long but they are beautiful so now we just now we just need to book the holiday that is everything we got from premark hopefully you enjoyed sorry you didn't vlog as much as i would have liked in the shop but these things happen um and yeah we'll catch up with you probably when we get to my mom's we're good to go just waiting for nathan to lace his new trainers up mm -hmm. i'm happy with the outfit i was a bit it took a little bit i was at first gonna wear a black jumpsuit and we've ended up with my boohoo jacket which is the first time i'm wearing it so it's obviously i feel good in it because you always feel good and when you've worn something for the first time because it's brand new. I'm absolutely starving. I've just had a bag of hula hoops and about 10 rice crackers and two little fizzy sweets, which my granddad would tell me off for. And Nathan said the same as what he says. Don't fill yourself up. And I said, there ain't no filling me up because I'm so hungry. What are you getting? Lasagna with cider chips, please. What are you getting? Palm oil and chips. Palm oil and chips and chips. With the cider chips. Also, I've got a new lip gloss on today, which it was just in the drawer, so I thought we'd give it a go. It's, it kind of is looking like that Cola Cherry Coke lips trend, but I'm kind of enjoying it. And then I've just cherry got Coke yeah, Cherry Coke lips, and I've got my green cargoes on. And yeah, we're good to go. Big for Christmas, so I put it on. Ready? Jeez! Jeez. <laughs> I don't want to run now. Okay then, be gentle. <laughs> what else is in my bag? A label. Mm, a clip. Did you just kept saying to me, John, do my green? Not yeah, about it, babe. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear granddad. Happy birthday to you. Hip, hip, hooray. We've just got home but i thought we'd just quickly end this video hope you've enjoyed i feel like it was a bit all over the place mm -hmm. but it's just a day in the life of us hope you enjoyed the pre-mark haul i'd say pre-mark trip but you did so well on the pre-mark haul babe <laughs> thanks babe how are you thanks um if you did enjoy don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video see ya